Thank you, flight attendants. Please arm your doors. This is your captain speaking. Well, maybe not today, but I can guarantee that the guys in the flight deck and the greater team care just as much about aircraft safety as I do. I've been flying for over 40 years as a pilot, and I can tell you there's no one I'd rather have at the controls than a Qantas pilot. So before we take off to the skies, please pay attention while the team runs through. You're more than capable of operating a seatbelt, but here's a few points on how this one works. Attach your seatbelt by inserting the clasp into the buckle and tighten by pulling the strap. Undo it by lifting the buckle flap. You must have your seatbelt done up low and tight during takeoff, landing and whenever the seatbelt sign is on. While seated at all other times, we require you to have your seatbelt fastened. And in the unlikely event of an emergency, it is important you are familiar with the brace position appropriate to your seat. If you can reach the seat in front of you, brace by folding your arms on the back of the seat in front and rest your forehead on your arms. If you can't reach the seat in front, put your head on your knees or lean as far forward as you can and hold onto your legs. Keep your feet firmly on the floor to prevent them from moving forward. Please take the time to check where the nearest exits are as they vary from aircraft to aircraft. Our team is currently pointing them out. A good way of remembering the route to your nearest exit is to count the number of rows between you and that exit. Next, the team will also point out the lights that show a path to the exit. We are also carrying escape slides and life rafts, which the crew will operate in an emergency. If we have to evacuate, you must leave all carry-on baggage on the aircraft. A loss of oxygen at altitude may lead to a loss of consciousness. If emergency oxygen is required, your mask will appear from above you. Pull down on it firmly to activate the flow of oxygen. Put it on quickly and tighten the strap. Oxygen will flow without the bag inflating. Once you're breathing normally, it's okay to help others. Please make sure you are familiar with the location and use of your life jacket. Yours is under your seat or under your armrest if you're in business. The team is now demonstrating how to put your life jacket on. Slip the jacket over your head, clip the waist strap together at the front, then tighten as the team is now demonstrating. Your jacket comes with a red tag and a mouthpiece for inflation and a whistle and a light for attracting attention. And remember, only inflate your jacket as you leave the aircraft. Smoking is a fire hazard and is not permitted anywhere on this aircraft. And just in case you missed any of this, please refer to our safety card located in your seat pocket or alternatively contact a member of the team. Remember, the team is here to look after you, so follow their instructions at all times. After all, your safety is our priority. That's all from us, so sit back and enjoy the journey.
and gentlemen, in preparation for our takeoff on our dimmer lights. If you'd like to continue reading, there is a reading light just in the unit above your head. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain, welcome aboard for your ride down to Brisbane. A little bit of congestion at the moment, uh, it's got a couple of aircraft to get away before us and then we'll be underway. A little bit late on our departure I know, we do however have a fairly quick flight time and I expect that we'll get you to Brisbane probably only just a few minutes uh, behind the scheduled arrival time. The weather in Brisbane is expected to be fine for our arrival and en route I also expect it to be fine. I'll talk to you again, let's get close to Brisbane. Until then, we leave you the very capable hands of Narelle and the rest of the crew. I hope you enjoy the flight.